What's up guys, Mr. here, back with another video, we're going to be carrying some Call of Duty Infinite Warfare weapon manufacturers and weapons coming to the game, so basically we had this on Game Informer, and they did release an article, but I'm going to read this off of Charlie Intel, because I can't get access to the website of Game Informer, so yeah, pretty much we have this, which looks, it does look pretty cool, we have these three images, they look like assault rifles, they look like sniper rifles, that you have machine pistols, and all of this is going to tie into the weapon manufacturers, so the first one we have here is the named the mv4 concept art and if i actually look at it it's like a gun being picked up art and you know you're, they're explaining everything what's on the gun you have your silencers you have your rubber coated laser foregrip but the most important thing if you look at the top left corner is kindle ballistics this is a traditional manufacturer creating military grade fare that will immediately be recognizable to call the fans and weapon gurus they are most like futuristic takes on weapons that are even available today like an m4 outfitted with an oled gps display so it really is is like something we can all relate to as Call of Duty fans because with the recent years Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare are going to see a lot of energy based weapons so it's nice to see you know guns like this come back to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare we did have them in all three games but it's nice to see they're not being you know left out. Next up we got Machine Mode and for lack of a better term we have the budget energy based manufacturer and they're like the, the manufacturer we can get basic guns like it's really something you can go you can buy an energy based assault rifle or as an example they show here you can use a submachine gun you can tilt it to the right or just tilt it and you can use it as a shotgun so really they you know just use basic stuff they do not have any outlandish camos they don't have any crazy designs like you're going to see with Fujiwara which like they say if Machinimo is a budget car Fujiwara is the Ferrari so these are high class energy weapons with extravagant designs and elaborate options and for an example they say the Mod 2, it's a submachine gun effective at mid, -long, mid to long ranges. They can rotate and pull in half to turn into dual pistols, perfect for when the fight gets close. So you have a, a submachine gun that's close or effectively close at mid to long ranges. And then you can pull it apart and use it at close ranges. So this is a gun that's good at all ranges. So what the fuck? This is like the beast gun. Like pulling apart your weapon to use it as pistol sounds crazy, but this just goes to show that they really have you know a lot of creativity within call of duty infinite warfare infinity ward it really shows and i can't wait to use this if it's going to be available within call of duty infinite warfare it's going to be crazy next up we got ed1 automatic dynamics and these are two manufacturers focused on experimental weapons and secret prototypes so when you're looking for heavy hitters these are to go options edi variants are high quality stuff while automatic dynamics work with more raw material yielding guns with lots of exposed parts so when you're dealing with rail guns and charge weaponry it's all about substance over style so they go over everything you know they said here and this does look pretty cool we have your traditional weapons you have your energy based weapons you have your energy based weapons that are a little bit outlandish and out there and crazy concepts crazy designs that's with the more you know company that has more money but yeah you have everything this is like something we'll have in the real world you have your traditional guns you have your guns that are a little bit outlandish out there and you can buy for a higher price and and you have your experimental guns this is everything but like i don't know how many years in the future or what you know time period infinity board or infinite warfare is set and so yeah this does look pretty cool and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you slap a like on it and i'll see you guys later peace